Hello, this is Smarter Prepping with Uncle Mark, and I'm Uncle Mark. That light blank is supposed to be blinking or not blinking? I'm confused. Anyway, sorry, I'm terrible in my camera. I thought that red light stayed burning steady, and now it's blinking. Well, whatever. As I said, I always like to start saying, this is Smarter Prepping with Uncle Mark, and I'm Uncle Mark. And... It's a few minutes after 10 p.m. on Monday, the 27th of May, 2024. Once again, a few minutes after, almost 5 after 10 p.m. on Monday, the 27th of May, 2024. And today is Memorial Day. Today is Memorial Day. Now, I was about to say... Um, I don't even know what that's called. What is this called? <laughs> I don't even know what that's called. What's it called? Well, whatever. Whatever that's called. Whatever gardening tool that's called. But obviously, it, 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 it's a large pair of scissors that, that cuts off limbs, small limbs. Anyway, I'm feeling very worn out because I spent ah, at least two hours, two or three hours, using that to trim off juniper bushes near my front door. That is to say, not just the one juniper bush that's in front of my apartment, but also some others. My, one of my neighbors encouraged me to do so. One of my neighbors encouraged me, and I went ahead and did it, trimming and trimming and trimming off a long story. I won't get into the details, but I trimmed back the juniper bushes that are around. They kind of crowd around the front door, where it looks like if you try to walk in, walk up your front porch and in your in, into your home. It's like the juniper limbs are in your face, in your face, in your face. So I try to cut them back, cut them back, cut them back, so they're not in the face. Just, just for the building I live in, and the building straight across, just a few bushes. But that took me at least two hours. And man, I am worn out. So worn out. I, I, I had to be at least two hours, two, three, whatever. And I. Um, I bagged up three bags. I had to buy a new box of bags. See? It says, contractor bag, 42 gallon. I used up, I had one. I had two bags left. I used up those two bags. And I went and bought this box. And used up a third, used a third bag. First bag of this. Oh, my gosh. Worn out, worn out, worn out. Okay? The snipper, what do you call that? The limb snipper? <laughs> what you call that? That device anyway, and put the stuff in the contractor back. So I'm worn out. Worn, so that's a big. It was a big part of my day. I'm worn out. Worn out. Uncle Mark is worn out. Worn out. Okay. And for some reason, is my memory <laughs> goofy? Because the red light is blinking. For some reason, I thought it was. It's probably always blinking. I, I, I don't know where I got the impression it burns steady instead of blinking. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, this is blueberries. About two or three years ago, I looked up a list of superfoods. The person who did the list, was this really the absolute expert on superfoods? I don't know, but near the top of the list was blueberries and turmeric. So there's the blueberries. Did I, did I get them free? Yeah. No. Yeah. Did I? I lost my brain. Yeah, I think I got some free, free blueberries. And there's turmeric, which I had to buy. I bought that at Sam's Club. And there's Gatorade, which gives you the electrolytes, your salt and potassium. So in this blender, I'm going to put the blueberries, the turmeric, and Gatorade. I won't say exactly how much, but whatever, it doesn't matter. And to put other things with it, I thought, well, to make it sweet and tasty, I mean, there's plenty of sugar in the Gatorade, but why don't I put in, I got so much mixed fruit laying around, canned mixed fruit, and so much canned pears laying around, just crazy amounts of this stuff just laying around. Just 20, 20 cans of mixed fruit, 30 or 40 cans of pears. And some people, my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, they make a health smoothie with kale, kale, kale. They're all about K-A-L-E, kale. Look at what colored things. A little bit of iron and potassium and that stuff there, okay. So I'm going to put that together in a minute. And then after that, I'm going to wash my dishes. 
This is oh no, Uncle Mark got his dishes piled up again. Oh no! Ah. Okay, so I catch up on the dishes, and once I get the dishes cut up, then I use that large mixing bowl that's sitting in the slime water. Oh my God! So look at the slime water. Get that large mixing bowl, which is clean and rinsed out, and I'll use this cans, four cans of canned chicken meat sitting around, best diffused by August of this year, and this clearance priced mayonnaise. The button there by the door. Clearance priced. And this here, and Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Anyway, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Anyway, but I, <laughs> and I put this generic spoon size shredded wheat that I got for free. I put about a third of that bag in, in the bowl, a fourth or a third, some of that, because it soaks it up real nice. It soaks up the juicy juice of the relish and I'll also add some of that mustard got some spicy brown mustard I'll squirt some of that in there too anyway so that's what's up for me for now and I'm going to stop at this point so it will be forced to give me a thumbnail of either the tr trimmer tool guarding tool or the Gatorade or this okay so as I'm always saying my wife Tanya, we was happily married for well over 10 years. Oh, she died 10th of March 2022, and she liked to say, Later, Tater. So are you ready? Three, two, one. Later, Tater.